Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. I'm not that unathletic. But lifting books should be like an Olympic sport. Yeah, look at the Stop falling, please! Oh my glob. <sighs> we're gonna tell about that fantastic introduction. Today we are going to be doing a a minor, a little tiny, small, 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 small book haul. Small, small. Um, we went book shopping or have been going book shopping actually this is over the past maybe like two months or so and some of them i've read some of them i haven't read but all of them are relatively new to me or not relatively all of them are new to me and um i went to indigo which is like the canadian version of barnes and noble um i went to the thrift store i went to oh i shopped online at book outlet for the first time and also we bought some books on amazon so without further ado let's get into the book haul let's start with the easiest thing to to pick out of the pile which is what i got on at the thrift store so at the thrift we bought the hunger games the entire trilogy actually but because my bookshelves are stacked the other two books are behind another row of books listen i'm getting another bookshelf don't mind me but i bought all three of these books so imagine i have all three of them right here the hunger games the original one and i think i've read it before however comma i don't remember much about it i think this summer after i get through my little romance era i really want to reread a lot of the books that i used to think were fantastic when i was younger just to see if they were still good i've seen a lot of people rereading the harry potter series saying oh my god it was so good when i was younger blah 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 but i want to see like these type of dystopian sci-fi books if these were are still as good as they used to be so we got the hunger games the whole trilogy i'm not gonna read the fourth one just because I don't care enough <laughs> um, and we also got the classic The Fallen to North Stars by John Green I actually really love this movie and I think I don't think I've read this book before however is this the one or is it Turtles All the Way Down or is it Paper Towns one of his books is on like a banned reading list now and I'm just like I want to read all of them now just because of that so we got The Fallen to North Stars hopefully we'll get to get to we'll get to read it this summer Actually, I'm going to stick my books over here. Alright. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. I am so out of shape. <sighs> oh, we got two books from Walmart, actually. How to End a Love Story by Yulin Kuang. I read this already. This is a fantastic book. This is the book that dragged me out of my book slump recently. I love it. It's perfect. Well, almost perfect. I wrote it in a there's nothing wrong with it i just don't it wasn't for me the ending but this is good how to end a love story read this um i also bought the paradise problem by christina lauren in a paperback because i've realized i'm a paperback girly i don't like hardcovers i know they're beautiful <sighs> excuse me and i know you can like remove the dust jacket and it'd be even prettier on the inside and they just stand so tall and perfect and they're probably a lot more protected than a paperback but this is just better it's just better i don't know what you want me to do about it but it's just better so next let's go to the first time i ever shopped on book outlet i'm not gonna lie i thought it was a purely canadian i'm sorry i was looking up there was a bug outside <laughs> i thought it was a purely american thing i didn't think we could get book outlet here in canada however don't drop it i was wrong <laughs> also i already did a little short or video or whatever on this but just in case you haven't seen it we got meet me at the lake by carly fortune I don't know what this is about, but uh, 
the first blurb is by Elena Armas, who wrote The Spanish Love Deception, who I did what I didn't like. So I don't know how much I'm gonna like this, but we got Meet Me at the Lake. Is this the one that's set in Canada? Ow. Is this in Canada? I don't know, but she has another book that just came out this year, and I just wanted to read something of hers before I purchased the newer book. So we have Meet Me at the Lake. We have Delicious Monsters by LaSalle Sambury. I read Tender Beasts and oh my god, I think I've made it my mission. The next time I go to the library, I'm going straight to the teen section and looking for all of the thrillers and, and horror books that they have in there. Because I'm pretty sure this is a teen book. Yeah, it says Simon and Schuster teen. But the way Tender Beasts had me in a chokehold, number one. It was set in Toronto, so that's cool. There was like, I could tell that the right, the author was Caribbean because she had like little sprinklings of things that feel like home to me. And then, it was just fantastic. It was just a fantastic book, okay? I listened to it partially on audiobook, and I also borrowed the book from the library, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna purchase the physical copy one day. Until then, we have Delicious Monsters. I don't know what this one's about, but I can't wait to read it as well. We've got Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. I think she also has another book that's out. But I wanted to read this because I think it's like a cute little love story type of thing. I'm holding the book backwards because if I hold it like that, my face gets dark. You see? So, instruction for dancing. And I got a cute little black couple on the front. Cute. We got Archer's Voice because if I'm in the mood to cry, I heard this book was fantastic. Who read this? Shaughnessy? Shaughnessy Schroeder? Is that her name? I don't know. The really cool black girl on YouTube. She read this book and she said that it was really good. I think, I hope I didn't mix her up with somebody else. But either way, she has a fantastic channel. Go check it out. Uh, but I heard this book was really good. It's a cute love story. I'm a romantic type of girly. A romantic slash thriller type of girly. I got Verity by Colleen Hoover. Now say what you want. Say what you want. She's still a good writer. Okay, I read, my first book by her was the famous, infamous, It Ends With Us. And then I also read the second book in the series. This is before she was controversial and all that fun stuff. I like her writing. Does that mean there's a problem with me? No, but I like her writing. Um, so I picked up Verity by Holly Hoover. And I think it's supposed to be some kind of like thriller, some kind of like creepy book. I don't know what it's about. We probably gonna read this another time. I don't think I'm in the mood for this right now, but I wanted to buy it anyways. I think I needed to. No, 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 no. that wasn't the book that I bought, but I had to get to a certain price to get free shipping, so I went to it anyways. And we got Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Annabelle Monaghan. Anytime I hear the word Annabelle, I think of the thrill, the horror movie. So I don't really know what this is about. I don't like to read the blurbs on the book. I just kind of like to see the buzz about it and then just read it. I genuinely don't really know what on the back of a book would ever catch me. Like what would the back of the book have to say to make me be interested in it? I think I left a book downstairs. I did. Darn it, I gotta go get it down. Anyways, I'll go get it in a second. We got Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Um, the only reason I got this book is because I bought her more recent book, which is Just for the Summer, which I'll get to in a second. And people were saying that some of the characters from this book and another one show up in the new book and you don't need to read them all before, but it kind of makes it more impactful when you read it in the third book, how like the changes that the, in the characters' lives. So I bought this one and also I really love the cover. Red is one of my favorite colors, so. Yeah, we bought this. Okay. Finally from Book Outlet, we bought None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. I actually really like Lisa Jewell. I read her other one, Then She Was Gone. That's the only other book read, that I've read by her. And I remember enjoying it. It was at least five years ago, maybe. I could be doing my math wrong. Time is a social concept, I don't understand. But I really, I think I'm gonna enjoy this. It says gloriously dark, clever, and completely addictive. Ah, oh, I can't wait to read this. So, next is 
the books I got from Amazon. No, don't look at the rest of them, Leah. Stop it. Jesus. I'm cheating. Anyways, this is what we got from Amazon. I think I already said that. Let's go. We got Black Girls Must Have It All by Jane Allen. This is the third book in the Black Girls Must Be Exhausted series. I've already read the first two. Loved them. Can't wait to read this one. But I'm not really in the mood yet. It's very realistic fiction it's not really romance it's not really depressing or anything it's just like fiction and i really liked her first two books so it felt like being seen as a black girl as it says and the cover is beautiful look at that what next we bought honey and spice by bolu babalo babalola um I have no idea what this is about. I just kept seeing it over and over everywhere. Um, I have no idea what it's about. I think it's a, yeah, it's a romance novel of some kind. She on the back looking like a whole freaking baddie. Excuse me. Wow, she's pretty. Ew. <laughs> but this one, damn, she cute. Um, we, read, we bought The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I think this one, is a romance but this woman meets the love of her life but he's like seven years in the future or something like that what do they call it magical realism which is a trope I, or a genre i didn't know existed didn't know that was a thing so add that to the bank of things that i may or may not enjoy but yeah the seven year slip i heard really good things about it i heard people keep crying over it which we have two Talia Hibberts actually. Let me grab the other one. We bought Act Your Age Eve Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert and Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute also by Talia. Oh, she loves a good cartoon cover, don't she? Go ahead, girl. Anyways, this is the third in the Get Alive Chloe Brown series. I already read the first two, didn't even know there was a third book until maybe last year or early this year. So I was like, oh, yeah because it's three brown sisters right so i can't wait to read i can't wait to read this one this is a good summer book for me i love talia hibbert's writing and this one i think it's a ya they go away on some kind of camping trip or something to do with the wilderness and um i guess they fall in love question mark no clue girl i got no idea oh she grew her hair out look at you Sorry, <laughs> I love looking at the author photos on the back. They're so cute. Um, we have Love Her, or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey. I don't think I've read anything by her before. Um, so I guess it'll be cute to read something by her. It's my only book I have from Tessa Bailey, I think. So hopefully this is good. I don't know if it's cute or not, but the cover reminds me of the Bromance Book Club and I loved that book. Oh my goodness. I just bought it randomly on a whim from Amazon like a few years ago and that was the cutest book ever. We also bought Before I Let Go and This Could Be Us. I don't know which order you're supposed to read it in. I'll Google it before I start them, but first of all, why is she so thick? Okay, I think you read Before I Let Go first. Why is she so pretty? Oh my goodness. <laughs> why are these covers so freaking beautiful with the gold leaf and the foiling on the front ah! normally i don't like seeing real humans on the front of a book but these girls are gorgeous are you kidding me their curls are popping anyways i don't know what these are about but i'm probably gonna read them i hate the fact that the spines don't match but that's neither here nor there Ugh. i hear those are make you cry too um, we have The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I just read a book by Lynn Painter. Or I'm about to read a book by Lynn Painter? Oh, I'm about to read a book by Lynn Painter. I'm about to read The Love Wager and that other one, Mr. Wrong Number, or something like that. So, I'm gonna read the library books and then I'm gonna read this one, The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. Um, I heard she just has really cute high school romance books. So... Maybe it'd be a really cute high school romance book. I don't usually like teenagers in romance stories because... But if there's no spice, then I can work with that. It's, it'll just be a cute thing. And then finally, kind of like The Fault in Our Stars, now that I think about it. I like... 
I like teen romance, but not when it involves explicit things. It's just gross. Bunny by Mona Awad. This is supposed to be a thriller. Or some kind of thriller, I guess? No? Maybe it's, oh, deliciously evil. I don't know what the heck this is about. I'm not even gonna hold you. I just kept seeing it everywhere and I was like, it says thriller, but it also says high school and I love a high school setting for like a creepy book. Kind of like um, Ace of Spades, I love that book. Or even Tender Beasts, there was a high school setting, like a very big important part of the book was a high school. I think I'm gonna like this one. Those were the Amazon books. And now for the final, the one that grabs all my money every single time. Let's go to Indigo. First we have When I Think of You by Maya Ariel. Um, Maya Ariel, I don't know how you say the name. I should know that. I should know that. Uh, <laughs> but I think I actually got this at Walmart. And then I saw it, started seeing it on, seeing it in Indigo when I per went to purchase other books. And then I started seeing on the internet, so I was like, I thought I was being cool and inconspicuous, buying a book that nobody else knows about. I was not. Um, but the only reason I got it is because A, there's black people on the cover, duh. And B, it has a blurb by Kennedy Ryan on the front, and I was thinking to myself, if I want to be a Kennedy Ryan fan, I should read what Kennedy Ryan also likes. So I bought this one when I think of you. Um, yeah. I don't know anything about it. I started reading it and then I stopped reading it because I wanted to read a scary book instead. Which is how Tender Beast came into play. Anyways, next we bought Seven Husbands of Ellen Hugo. My cousin read this. She got really far in there. Bless her soul. Um, she got really far. Oh, there's like little graphics in there too. Why is the writing so tiny? Um, I heard this is really good. I think it's like a thriller mystery not thriller but like a mystery or just fiction i don't know girl i don't know it's popular i bought it damn it this was at a time when i was less serious about saving money now i'm more serious hence the library books we got i got the first three harry potter books and um oh i'm actually almost done with this I'm page 215. I really like to fold my pages. That's kind of one of the reasons I really love physical books instead of ebooks. Which, but I'm gonna probably consider getting an e-reader soon, just so I can get free books on Kindle or Amazon or whatever the heck it's called. But I'm not feeling this. I feel like I'm just reading the words and not really like getting the picture because I've already watched all of the movies, and I'm just not. I'm just not into it. I think maybe if I reread it in like. The fall and winter time when it's more similar to the setting in the book i might enjoy it more but currently i mean obviously i'm going to purchase the rest of the series because i can't just have half of the series and i really like those little soft cover books so but i have the first three imagine the other two are here i got happy place by emily henry now her new book funny story i really want to purchase as well because i kind of like her writing I do like her writing. I loved um, Beach Read. I loved Beach Read. And I think I started or completed People We Meet on Vacation, but I don't remember it, so I'm probably gonna reread it. And I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy her writing in general. So I purchased Happy Place because they were trying to hype up um, the new books. So they had all of her older books on display at the front of Indigo. And I was like, mm -hmm, it's pretty and it's pink. I want it. So I bought this and I like the spine and I will, I will not purchase the hardcover of Funny Story. I will not do it. I will wait until the paperback goes down. Next we bought The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I saw Kalila D read this on YouTube and she said that it changed her life. Just like Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. And oh, what's that other book about the woman? I think it's called The Supermarket Woman. No, Convenience Store Woman. I also really want to read Convenience Store Woman, but because I'm on the quest to find a book that truly 
changes my life. The only, the only book I've read like that that I can recall is They Both Die at the End by somebody, I think Adam Silvera. And that was a fa- and Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany Jackson, question mark? Those books, I think about those books regularly to this day. And I'm hoping I can get the same effect with The House in the Cerulean Sea or Convenience Store Woman. I want to read both of those books because I like Kalila's recommendations for the most part. And I kind of trust her, trust her opinion when it comes to books. So I bought this one, not because it's normally something I would go for, but... Why not? I'm trying to change my life in positive ways, so we'll have that there. Next, we bought Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I read this one already. As you can see, my cute little, I'm trying to become a tabbing the book type of girly. I mean, I got the physical books, I might as well tab things. I tabbed cute things in this book. And there's more cute things, but the end of this book? The end of this book? This book affected me for several days afterwards. <laughs> I was like, it's things I didn't see coming, things that explained her behavior now, his behavior now. I just, I could not. I couldn't, I loved this book so much. I don't really know if I have any other Christina Lauren books, but I loved this book so, so much. So I purchased it, I read it all in like two to three days. It's a five star read for me. Love that. So, we purchased, as I said before, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Oh my God, my booty. By Abby Jimenez. Abby Jimenez. Um, I think this one is like a fake dating trope. They try to like date each other because they've realized coincidentally that every time they what the hell is on my desk every time they date someone the next person after them for, finds their soulmate so they make a pact to date each other in hopes of finding their soulmate afterwards um no idea no idea but it's a continuation i think or just like a standalone interconnected novel of the other one. What the heck is it? What's the other one? What's her name? Where, the, excuse me. Yours truly. <laughs> I'm getting tired, guys. Next, we have What Loving You Always by Kennedy Ryan. I recently bought this on like when I saw that there was a bunch of random, not random, but like previous Kennedy Ryan books. And I was like, I hope I enjoy her writing because now I have three books by her and I've never read a single one. So maybe we'll do a reading vlog where we do only Kennedy Ryan books because this one sounds like she's in love with like a married man. And I'm just like, ew, rude. Next one is The Inmate by Frida McFadden. I read the popular The Housemaid by her. Um, I think there's another one. The Housemaid's Secret, I think, is the second one in that series. And then The Housemaid is Always Watching or something like that. There's like three books in that series. I'm probably going to read them all, but I already read The Housemaid. Or The Housemaid's Guest is one of the books. And then I... I think I said that already. I read also The Teacher by Frida McFadden. I just really love her like little twists at the end. The Teacher was a fantastic novel. Like I love that book. I hadn't heard about it until I read it and I started seeing it all over the internet. But The Teacher, it reminded me of something else that I've already watched or read. I bought the inmate. I started getting, I got like what, 20 pages in. And I paused because I was like, I'm not really feeling a thriller right now. I'm a mood reader, as you couldn't tell. Finally, we purchased Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida Abike. 
Iyimide? Iyimide. Iyimide. I don't know. She per she also wrote Ace of Spades, which I think I mentioned in the in another part of this video. Oh, when I was saying I like thrillers or mysteries set in high schools. She also oh, is this in a high school as well? Huh, sorry. <laughs> yes, this is also in a high school. I didn't realize that. I like this. Now Well, no, I like this. I liked her previous book. It was hard to get into initially, I will say. But this is her more recent one and I'm pretty sure people usually get better with time, which is why I, if I liked the first one a lot, I have no problem purchasing another one because she's either gonna be equally as good or much better. And I'm thirsty now. <sighs> Anyways, those are all the books <laughs> that I purchased recently. It's a lot, I know, but I like to read it's not my fault it's either this or drugs what am I supposed to do mm -hmm. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you for dropping dropping thank you for shopping thank you for thank you for watching <laughs> bye